one challenge which I am facing these days is gadgets. So how to correlate a story to have a restrictions on the gadget on my children, many parents like me. I am sure. Thank you. I will tell you. Sometimes I say, thank God, my children are not born in this age, you know. <laughs> what are the gadgets we will have? iPhone. Phone is the most, most culprit, right? iPhone, iPad, laptop. Television. Television. Let's take only four. What is the age group of your children? Oh, still you can control, okay. Up to 18 you can manage somehow. Once they go to college it becomes hard. But again, you know, 10 and 13 still you can manage. Put the switch off TV, you don't see TV. Put off, sell the TV, no see TV at home. Or if you have TV and they're really fond of TV, as a desert, 10 minutes, okay, as a desert, okay, put it off. Second thing, you have to tell children why not TV. Because once I told some film actor that one, Anything, I can give a sermon, two people will understand. I can write a book, ten people will read. If I act in a movie, thousands of people will understand. That's the reason Dangal is very, very good social message because entire country celebrates the birth of a daughter now. So, what you see in television, children absorb it with a high density. Most of the serials, with all ornament, fake though, maybe fake, lot of ornament, big sindoor, and actually I'm, I'm wondering who wears that kind at home. I've never seen somebody wearing. And that chakpaki ka sari, red color, pink border, pink color, black border. And I wonder how do they work at home with that kind of sari because even with salwar kami, they're so hard to work at home. And they must be having 10 cooks at home, I feel, when I look at that. They're all unrealistic. You have to tell children better, they will make money. To make that money, they will add all these spices. But in real life, no family lives like that. So I went to somebody's house, it was about 15 years, 20 years back actually. That day it was a Draupati Vastra Parana was there. And uh, my, friend's, <laughs> my friend's daughter was getting married. So she said, uh, so the marriage at 6 o'clock. I said, what? 6 in the morning? December 6 in Bangalore means temperature is 10 degrees, 12 degrees. Who will come for Murta? She said, the Pandit said, today the Draupati Vastra Parana, 9 o'clock is serial and 6 o'clock is one Murta. Other Murta is at uh, 9 o'clock and I will not conduct your daughter's wedding. 6 o'clock of the wedding mood. So, you should see TV, but to not an extent become addictive or it's slave. It may be TV, it may not be TV. In general, slavery is bad. It could be for gutka, it could be for cigarette, it could be for alcohol. Because, you know, I, my next book is going to come with alcohol, anonymous work, you know. How people become alcoholic, how women become alcoholic, how children, parents think that children become. So, on that I'm writing an essay and for that I'm working on it with alcohol people now. What makes them? They say any addiction is bad. It may be too much, too much work, too much movie, too much television, too much eating. Anything too much is bad. Don't think TV, watching TV is bad. Anything too much is bad. Anything too much is very bad. And that you have to tell children. Look, even I like to see, but I am not seeing because I feel it's a waste of time. It don't happen in one day. It takes some time. And then they appreciate. Now coming to iPhone iPad. As a children, no, if they don't require, don't buy iPad. If they don't require, don't buy iPad. Don't give birthday gifts as an iPad. iPhone, don't give. Tell me 10, 13 years why they require a phone. Give me one reason why do they require a phone. You want to call someone, call on the landline. Whom they can talk. You have to say that, why do you require a phone? Phone is meant for those people who are extremely busy, they have to communicate something. You are going to school going child, why do you require it? So you, and you say, I require phone only to talk when it is needed. You don't talk two hours on telephone to your mother, sister. You should not do that. I always tell, I will not talk to you for two hours. If I want to talk when children sleep, my sister is abroad. We want to talk sometime. When children sleep at four o'clock in the morning, today morning also, that habit has continued with me. If I have to talk to my brother and sister who are abroad, four in the morning I will call before children get up. Four o'clock, four a.m. to four thirty. Because... I want to communicate, but I don't want my children to say, you talk to your mother and brother half an hour and you tell us not to talk to my friends. Children give you that kind of a reply because they see. First, you have to restrain and tell children anything too much is bad. It is not TV. It is not iPad. Any habit, if you go in deep, is always bad. Okay? That's a one way. Second thing is, you sit with them and start reading with them. Nothing like reading. Nothing like quiz. Okay? Or I will tell you half story, you continue. Or you tell me what happened in the class, 
okay and you know you have to take you have to keep a channel open talking talking about the your school your teacher and they may use saying that teacher was not good never ever encourage such things no teacher is always right maybe you have mistaken never ever tell child your teacher is wrong if you feel maybe you can talk to a teacher but never do that in front of a child no we are, we are very uh, happy to have you here and there's a lot of extraordinariness in the ordinariness that you have uh, projected but uh, let us tell me the question let us know something about uh, the harmonious uh, relationship that you have with your husband because uh, one of the challenges that today's generation face especially <laughs> when two people are working as husband and wife is to have a harmonious relation i don't mean in terms of you know the love which is deep inside that is what i mean to say no i make a joke on that i have a good touch i have a good relationship with my husband because we hardly meet i will tell you the answer my husband travels 20 days in a month abroad i travel 22 days in a month village okay how many days are left 6 to 8 days in a month so when you are with each other for 6 8 days wifi the real reason is not that the real reason is this is highly subjective and i belong to one generation behind you please understand i am one generation behind you the value system the marriage the commitment of so different than what it is today you marry for life you know that is the first fundamental thing and my mother told me when i got married if you fight with your husband and come back i will not open the door you have to adjust and i i married to, into a, a big joint family which i was not used to but one thing i realized as a woman every woman feels her husband should listen to her every woman feels you somebody says i don't then it's not correct actually because that's what we expect in marriage my husband should listen to me man also feels my wife should listen to me that we don't worry over a period of time i realized a person like murti who eats breathes drinks in forces cannot spare any time for us for the family it is like a tapas in olden days rishi used to go sit in a forest and do tapas you can sit in the electronic city and do tapas the result of that tapas is infosys a son of a school teacher can build an empire like infosys in one's lifetime of third in 30 years is not a joke that means the person should be dedicated his entire life for that dreaming about it talking about it then what is his wife's duty expecting him me you have to take me out for a movie you take me out for a sari birthday you take me out for this none of them are possible in his life so accept a person as he is that is what i tell women accept your husband what he is what he is not don't imagine he should be like a sharukh khan no accept your husband that bundle some good points some short some negative points because i have some plus i have some minus accept your husband what he is and the more moment to accept life becomes easy second thing little bit philosophically i thought after some time not immediately after marriage maybe after 5 6 years i realized everybody like what i told everybody has his or her own life i have been brought up in a different atmosphere my father was a doctor murthy's father was a school teacher there were eight children we were four children when you are brought up in a different atmosphere your way of looking at life is also different why should i accept my husband should say this is the correct and what he was brought up is not correct similarly he may be thinking about me also same way do not expect to see what you see through your eyes your husband also should see the same way the moment you please give him a liberty or freedom what he likes please allow him the liberty or the freedom what he likes why he likes why he wants to spend money on sir a b c d unless it's harmful for the family suppose he gives a little more money to your mother in law little more money to sister in law let us assume that way you may get upset for a minute but you should also remember whatever said and done you know my mother my husband used to do lot more actually lot more to mother in law to his wife compared to wife initially as we get upset then i realized i married uh, my i knew my husband at the age of 26 first 26 years who has taken care she she deserves more she deserves more tell your mind don't compete with that with her after all he was her son first then my husband later and this liberty gave me so much freedom not to contest with him for anything and even now i tell him look as a friend i feel what you are doing is wrong as a friend whatever projects they take i think as a friend if something is wrong i tell him as a friend i will tell this is wrong as a family unit i'll accept it decision is yours and i expect same thing from him and he does that as a friend sudha this is not correct as a family i accept it so allow the freedom of men and they should allow your freedom 
that's the reason behind every successful woman behind every successful woman there's an understanding husband